Hey Fragheads and Fragrance Lovers, welcome back, Benjamin here, Centaur Fragrance Channel, talking about another beautiful fragrance, helping you smell amazing. This fragrance is inspired by the Amazon rainforest. It's called, how do you say that, Selva do Brazil, uh, from the House of Berdois. You might not be familiar with the House of Berdois, uh, but they are a fantastic fragrance house, supposedly established in 1902. They have quite a, uh, quite a bit of history, kind of an underrated fragrance house, along with florists and penhaligans that kind of get overlooked, sometimes even Serge Luton's or Artisan Parfum fumer get overlooked uh but this is a beautiful fragrance house and fragrance let's talk all about it before we do y'all know how to help me down below if you want to see this channel grow if you like what you're seeing i upload monday wednesdays and fridays and help me out down below you know what to do thumbs up and i'll see ya but uh let's jump into this fragrance review this is a beautiful one here this is uh it's supposed to smell again like the amazon rainforest fresh crisp air oxygen uh, you know, the Amazon is the heart of the, you know, the rainforest uh, over there in the South America. So it's called like the lungs of the, the world. You know, they produce so much fresh air. And you get this uh, Paraguay uh, pedigrain. I'm not I'm not too familiar with Paraguay per pedigrain and how that's different. But I do have to say it's a little bit more woody and a little bit more vegetal. Uh, kind of having, you know, some green leafy aspects uh, to this uh, almost like white floral. But it's very well blended. It doesn't smell old-fashioned or overbearing. It just smells like clean and airy and kind of almost kind of wakes you up in a really nice way. So the pedigree is quite nice. I usually don't like white florals. It's actually quite well done in this fragrance. In the heart of the fragrance, you get some tonka bean. Now, tonka bean, you're probably familiar with it being deeper and sweeter and uh, maybe even going boozy. Here, the tonka bean is light. It's almost nutty. And um, I really like that. It's almost like light and slightly like a dusty tonka bean, adding kind of a fullness. Uh, I really like it. Almost like almonds. It reminds me of almonds, but it's not overtly gourmand. This fragrance isn't overtly sweet. Uh, you do get a little bit of sweetness from the tonka bean, but in the dry down, it's really bowl balanced with guyac wood. Now, if you're familiar with guyac wood, it's considered uh, kind of like a holy wood. Uh, kind of goes by the name of Palo Santo as well, and uh, it's a sour kind of incense -y kind of wood, and it really balances out the sweetness. So you get maybe a tiny bit of uh, sour sweet, but there's not a lot of that going on. The incense here is very approachable, very well blended. In the heart of this fragrance, um, I, do I do detect some musk. Um, it's really really has kind of almost a modern appeal to it, almost a wateriness. And again, it's supposed to smell like the Amazon rainforest. So it's about a bit hot and humid and uh, kind of watery in a way. It's not really an aquatic. Aquatics are not listed as a note. I really don't feel that. I especially don't get seaweed or salt or anything like that at all. So overall, quite a unique fragrance. I don't think uh, there's very few fragrances inspired by the rain Amazon rainforest. Uh, there was a designer fragrance called Kenzo's Jungle, which uh, kind of did this, but this one's higher quality. This one uh, is more transparent in its own way, but still has quite a bit of personality. Quite an excellent fragrance. Um, also, this fragrance doesn't really have mate uh, tea listed as a note, but um, my mind sometimes gets tempted to think mate tea, especially with this uh, South American, uh, you know, almost Peruvian type of vibe, uh, or maybe even ambrette. Maybe my mind is just wandering, but I almost get tempted to think about those kinds of things with this fragrance. Maybe it's hidden, maybe it's mixed into these three main accords. Again, when there's only three main, main accords listed, that means that those, you know, there's a lot going into those accords. You might get little nuances of different things. So anyways, a fantastic fragrance release. We'll talk about how affordable it is, uh, but first got to talk about that performance. Uh, on my experience, you'll get eight hours, maybe a little bit plus. It actually uh, is quite nice. It is a little bit soft on the skin. I would say average projection, maybe slightly less, but it's not a, it's not a skin scent. It's not a weak skin, it, uh, a weak fragrance. Fragrance. It does have some presence, but this isn't going to leap off your skin and demand attention. But I do like that it lingers on you for eight hours, even a little bit longer. It's quite a nice fragrance in that way, and it just makes you feel clean and uh, kind of might blend in with you and make you naturally smell like uh, unique, fresh, uh, humid air in a really good way and in a rainforest. And again, this fragrance isn't overtly green. It's not oak mossy. It's not fougere like, even though. There are beautiful fougeres out there, and I appreciate them. Uh, this fragrance is very wearable, very trendy, uh, very unisex, genderless, and all those beautiful things. And uh, I really like that there is a fragrance like this out there for everybody. Um, and if you are a musk lover, this one certainly is worth trying out, in my humble opinion. Uh, so compliment factor-wise, it's not you know super sweet or uh, playful or seductive or mysterious but this is a nice fragrance it makes you smell clean but it's also a little bit more original 
Um, I would say it's somebody who has a little bit more of a carefree type of attitude, a little bit uh, who likes to relax and, you know, do their own thing, uh, go, you know, sightseeing, maybe watch the birds, uh, those kinds of things might really, really enjoy this fragrance. Uh, but again, it's not a party fragrance. This is not your uh, go swoon the ladies or the gents or whatever you do kind of fragrance. Uh, this is more of a uh, an experience type of fragrance. This helps you travel uh, almost and experience the Amazon rainforest through a fragrance. And uh, I like when fragrances do this. There are fragrances to be attractive or go dancing or do whatever. Uh, but I do like when a fragrance is captures an emotion or a smell from a certain place or thing, maybe even a time in history or maybe inspired by a famous person. Those are wonderful things. And uh, I like the, again, Amazon rainforest. That's what this is all about. So, again, representation to Brazil as well. I should have mentioned that a couple times, but I haven't. Uh, but, uh, again, uh, a wonderful fragrance also shouting out to the heritage and uh, to, you know, Brazil. There's not a lot of fragrances that I know of that represent Brazil. Uh, so that's a beautiful thing as well. So getting to my final thoughts... Um, this is, again, I think it's priced very well. I think it's affordable for what you get. You know, this is a full-size 100ml bottle. It comes out at, for €82. Euro. Uh, I think that's a fantastic price. It's going to get, I think that's up there, $130, odd dollar, $120, odd dollars And then with shipping, you know, you might get close to about 150 That's, a, I think, a beautiful price range. You know, that's Carnar Barcelona. That's some of the Serge Loutons. That's Le Artisan Parfumer territory. I think the quality is here. I think the blending's uh, here. And uh, I think it's a nice fragrance. Is it overtly unique or daring or strange for a niche fragrance? No. Uh, but uh, I do think it does something. Would I like it to have some really interesting, unique notes thrown in here? Of course. I mean, I'm a guy who would like white tobacco thrown in something like this. But does it have to have that? No. It, it, this is a beautiful fragrance. It does something special. That, ha that's, that does something, you know, it's a calming fragrance. It's a relaxing fragrance. It, uh, it speaks... Uh, to me, it has like a noble soul kind of quality about it, and uh, certainly worth checking out. Again, I didn't get this uh, bottle for review from the company or anything like that. I'm always transparent with y'all. Did not get this for uh, for free in that way, uh, but I mean, what can I say? Bourdois, I do like the house. I do look forward to trying more of their fragrances. I bought Oudwa Vanilla. It really blew me away. Uh, certainly, in my opinion, one of the best vanilla amber fragrances out there. Better than Kalamot Black uh, by Arabian Oud, in my humble opinion, even though that's a fantastic fragrance. Uh, this one here, certainly worth trying if it sounds entertaining to you. And again, if you like musky fragrances, or maybe even if you're a white floral fragrance fan, uh, this might be worth something checking out. So anyways, everybody, it's not my, it's not going to be the most interesting fragrance to everybody. It's not going to blow everybody away in the fragrance world. But it has a little a little beauty of its own, and uh, cap, you know does a good job at it. So, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed my fragrance review today. If you like what I did, if you like my content, if you like everything I'm doing over here, and you want to support me, you know how to do that down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend. And uh, wonderful fragrance people, uh, wonderful people out there, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying fragrances and exploring a you know undiscovered fragrance. You probably had never heard about this one. I might be one of the very few people or maybe the only person who's reviewed this fragrance yet. And I'm glad that you're curious about actually, you know, learning about new fragrances and learning about new things. Uh, because that's what I'm passionate about as a fragrance head. Uh, learning about new fragrances and exploring those fragrances. So my beautiful people. I'll see you in the next video. I do upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so stay tuned. Always come back. Always check out what I got going on. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm very active. I upload daily on Instagram, so if you want to see my new content, check me out over there, and I'll see you soon, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Smell great. I know that you are. Wear what you love. Find those fragrances that you love and that move you, that make you feel beautiful, that make you smell awesome, and uh, just put a smile on your face. So I'll see you soon, everybody. Have a good day. Peace out, and bye.